Mario! What's up my friend? So has anybody ever taken a picture of you and you just feel kind of awkward? You don't know where to look, you don't know if you should smile, you don't know where to put your hands and your arms and it just feels super awkward. Well then this video is for you because I've been there but I've been working as a professional model for three years and over the years I came up with seven amazing poses for men that you can use the next time somebody takes a picture of you and the last one is gonna blow your mind so make sure to watch until the end. Now now let's get started with the best seven killer model poses for men. All right, girls, so pose number one is called the arranger. One of the best rules in modeling is to always keep moving because in the dynamic shots, it looks much more natural than just standing awkwardly like a soldier. Because the thing is, we always start feeling awkward once we start thinking about what we do. But once you have an activity, once you play with something, you can also play with your wrist. You can pull up your shirt, play with it. Maybe if you have a ring, take off the ring, just put it on, look at the camera, look off into the distance. You can arrange anything on your body. Well, depending on what kind of pictures you take, you shouldn't necessarily arrange down there. But except from that, just arrange stuff and it feels much more natural, I promise you. Okay, and then post number two. Once you don't have stuff to arrange anymore, you can move on to the toucher. So the toucher basically means you touch yourself. Again, not necessarily in a sexual way. You can just touch your face lightly and look at the camera. Touch your hair, just be a little bit more seductive. You can go from being super seductive and touching yourself here to having something more serious where you just touch yourself here and look like a bad boy. This one's also great to practice in the mirror. Just look at yourself and practice touching yourself. That sounds wrong. <laughs> okay, so next one is one of my absolute favorites. It's called the lean on wall pose. Usually when you shoot, you get to a point where it feels awkward. You run out of options. You've touched yourself, you arrange your shirt, and then you just look for a wall and you just lean against the wall. You cross your leg, look at the camera, just look off. You can also lean against the wall doing this and look over your shoulder into the camera. Add some body tension, that's always cool if you do body stuff. But find the wall, play with it, don't be afraid to touch the wall. The wall is your friend and it's gonna make you feel a lot less awkward. Thanks wall. I kissed the wall and I liked it. Tasted like a, not quite like a cherry chopstick. Okay, so now we've covered some more feminine stuff. We've interacted with the wall and now one of my favorites is called the boxer. It's having your arms crossed and looking down into the camera. There's many different variations, but the boxer is a very classic pose that has been used in the modeling history since the middle ages, 1500 years ago. Go old school and try the boxer. But sometimes the focus is only on your face. And again here there's different moods. The first one I recommend is called the kitten. Meow. Where basically the camera is coming at you and your face is kind of tilted down so the focus will be more on your eyes. And then when the camera comes at you, you just look up at the camera. <laughs> Okay, and then if you have done enough of the kitten looking directly at the person and being very close to them, it's time for the smile. And there's different variations. I know that a genuine smile when you're under pressure or cameras at you is very hard to do, but there's a couple of tricks. First of all, I would always start with the smile into the distance. That's one of my favorites. The camera's at you and you just look at a point and you're just thinking about something funny. <laughs> <laughs> it can sound fake, but be in movement. I promise you, those shots are gonna look so candid, they're gonna look so cute, they're gonna blow your freaking mind. So try that because I think there's nothing more beautiful than seeing a genuine smile in a picture when the eyes light up. I think it's one of the most attractive things for both men and women and animals and vegetables if they could smile. Yes, and now finally we made it to my last and favorite pose, which is called the kid. What do kids do? They play. And I truly believe that being able to let that inner child out and to play like a kid is one of the best skills that we can relearn as adults. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna be at a photo shoot, camera's gonna look at you, you're gonna give it a little wink, maybe be a rock star, maybe like, ah, look at the camera like this. Then you're a freaking rebel and you really don't like the camera at all. So you show the camera, you show your tongue, you really could be a bit aggressive at the camera, but then again, you like the camera again, so you flick your hair back. You really have nothing to lose. And of course, sometimes poses are gonna be too extreme. In some occasions, you don't wanna be 
winking at people, but when you come back from the wink, there might be a moment in the movement when you come back from the wink, and those moments are the most natural moments. So I challenge you to exaggerate your poses and play like a child. Those poses doesn't matter if you want to be a professional model, if you want to take family portraits, or if you want to look cute on your next Instagram story. It all comes down to the same principle. So first of all, arrange your clothes. Secondly, if you don't know what to do, just touch yourself. Play with what God's given you. That sounds so wrong. Number three, if it feels awkward, always lean on the wall. Play with the wall. Number four, go old school. Go into the boxer, either happy or the pissed boxer from above. Number five, be cute and do the kitten from below looking directly into the camera. Meow. Number six, smile or just awkwardly laugh into the distance looking extremely candid and natural. Number seven, be crazy, exaggerate your poses and play like a kid. And then as a last step, if you took anything away from this video but you're not part of the Carrot Kingdom yet, subscribe to my channel right now. Let me know if you have any questions because I read every single one of your comments and if you are serious and you actually want to become a model, I wrote an ebook for you with my best tips on how to become a model and how I got started as a professional model. So if that is something that you're interested in, then go below right now and download my ebook for free. One carrot a day keeps the doctor away, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.